Hello everybody, this is Marjorie. I'm looking with the day I'm all in green with my green specs because this is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, with my Shillelagh in my hand. Well, this is St. Patrick's Day, so happy anniversary to all my Irish chums. Now, Anne-Marie that I used to work with, well, she's one of my Irish chums and she was actually, she was the one that campaigned for me to get Mayor Clay's because when I was only doing, you know, when I did the wee segments for David's lunchtime blog, well, I only had the one top, and she says to me one day, are you not going to get any mere tops? And I says to David, excuse me, my pal Anne Marie says I should have mere tops. He says, you're not getting any mere tops, you're just wearing the same one, because it's for continuity. I went, continuity? That's just another word for, another word for saying skin flint. So anyway, eventually, I got a different top every week. Mind, I got a different top every week from, from La Georges of Asda. And then she then started providing all my lovely tops, and now I've got a different top every day. So I've got Anne-Marie to thank for really st st stirring, pushing, pushing that along. Anyway, talking to Anne-Marie, my hairdresser, Kyla Marie Antoinette, you know, well, one of my hairdressers, because I've got that many, I've got her and me, Josh. Well, we had arranged to meet in the wee coffee shop at the bottom of the road, right? And she says, now, I'll bring wee Harry Potter and Pansy Potter away, me. And I says, oh, that's fine. So when they came, right, <laughs> and wee Pansy Potter singing this wee song. And I says, who's just singing? Who's wee Pansy Potter singing the day? She says, oh, she was watching this video on YouTube, right? It's a wee, like a wee trucker, a wee digger, wee digger video, wee, wee cartoon, right? And it went, um, if you're happy and you know it, dump your load. If you're happy and you know it, dump your load. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, dump your load. <laughs> I says, she obviously doesn't ken really the, the other meaning of that, but she was quite content singing away. So, you know, he's a sleever. So she was, <laughs> she was as happy as a wee leprechaun doing the river dance. Now, all of a sudden I was like, what? What's that smell? Do you think something's burning in the kitchen? Somebody, is somebody burning a, the, the, the cheese panini or something? And she went, oh no. It was wee, wee Harry Potter, right? He had infumigated in his nappy. So she says, right, I'll go and get him cleaned up. Right, well, you look after Pansy Potter. I'll, I'll not be long. I says, leave it with me. Me and wee Pansy Potter go on like a house on fire. <laughs> so Kyla Marie Antoinette, away she goes, right? And I'm talking about wee Pansy Potter. Now, all of a sudden, I see this man. This man's sitting in the corner. He's sitting at a wee table for one. And he's looking across. And I thought, I think that man's eyeing me up. I actually think that man is eyeing me up. He's giving me the eye. And he's going... And I'm, like, looking, going... And then, and then, and then he turns. And then he goes... And I went... And I didn't know what to do. I mean... What does a woman in my age, what does a woman in my age do back when a man winks at them? And then he's going, I thought, maybe he's no winking, maybe he's got a twitch, maybe he's got a, you know, he's got a condition. And then he stands up and he starts to walk towards the table. I mean, oh, no, look at the, the twitcher, the twitcher's coming towards me. And I went, do you not know, do you not know who I am? And I went, what accent was that? He's Irish, by the way, as you'll find out later on. He says, do you not know who I am? Just um, use your imagination. Now, that's an Irish accent. And I'm looking at him going, no. You, you, you do look a bit familiar, but it's, it's no coming to me. Went, it's Paddy. It's Paddy from Dublin. Oh, that was me like it, wasn't it? No, no I'm, I'm cooking with gas now, eh? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like the young impressionist. And I was like, oh, Paddy. Paddy from Dublin that I met in the holidays in Skegness that time. He's like, that's the very one, the very one indeed. Mm. And I says, oh, I didn't recognise you there with your clay zone. How are you getting on? He says, oh, well, I'm just I'm just back from the pharmacy. What what a what a funny story. What, what a funny story I've got to tell you. I says, what's your story? He says, well, it's, I had to go to the pharmacy, right, because, oh, to the accent. My doctor, my doctor told me to go to the pharmacy and he says, and he walked in and he walked into the pharmacy and he says, I had a small bottle and I had a teaspoon and I took them out of my pocket and I said to the pharmacist, I says, here, could you be tasting this for me, please? And and the pharmacist, right, he takes, he takes the, the wee spoon and the wee, the wee bottle and he puts a wee bit on the teaspoon and he, he swallows it and he's, 
what does he say, Swally? He's swirling it. He's swirling it with his mouth, and he's, you know, he's grimacing. He's going, and he spits it out, right? And Paddy, Paddy says to me, and I, and I says to the man, I says to the man, says to my man, does that taste sweet to you? And the, and the pharmacist went, no, doesn't it? Actually, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't smell, taste sweet at all. He says, oh, that's a relief. Because my doctor told me to come here and get my urine tested for sugar. <laughs> <laughs>